So what's going on guys? This is episode, what number is this? This is, I think this is five, isn't this it? This is five. I think so. Perfect. And we have no topic to talk about. We nope. didn't say, hey, let's talk about this. Nope. At all. So no. we're just going to chit chat. We're going to talk it up. I love it. This is brought to you by Topo Chico. Just Cheers. kidding. It's not, it's not brought to you by Topo Chico. If it was, I feel like we'd have a, a more luxu luxurious studio. For sure. For sure. Yeah. It but, wouldn't be. But we just like it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They're so good. I mean, that bite is just. <sighs> so we've got, we had Keith out for, he came out, what, was it last week? It was last week. Last week. Uh, pretty much the brains behind the book, Unafraid, he pretty much made it awesome. It was fun having him here. Like, I loved having him here. It was awesome. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, having a guest in the house is always weird, right? Because you're like, can I fart? fart? That's what you want to say. That's <laughs> everyone knows. That's can I fart? <laughs> can I, like, do I have to make dinner every night? Like, you know, can I walk around in a robe? Are all of these things acceptable? And I guess it just depends on the guest, right? I guess the biggest thing acceptable is how I'm, I'm staring at a bar right I know. now. I, I just really it's just, just for some reason we just can't get this i think that's good that's good right there yeah um zach the podcast guy said six inches from your chin to the uh, thing oh sure yeah. so you know. mm. so. um anyways but it was but it was so, super cool like dude, he's he's such a good dude he is a good dude he's such a good dude it was it was awesome to get to know him because that was my first time meeting him mm -hmm. like he he knows everything about you pretty much and I pretty much know everything about him, mm -hmm. so that's kind of kind of scary. <laughs> um, but it was cool. Yeah, it was cool having him here. We did what he got in here Wednesday, left Saturday night, and we did. We we're pretty much in here. We we flipped this around for Unafraid podcast, which we're is going to be coming out soon, and we recorded. Gosh, I mean, a lot of episodes. You guys were recording like the whole time, literally all day. Probably like probably 15 to 20 episodes a lot of a lot of cool stuff coming it, it was fun it was it was so cool a lot of a lot of good ideas a lot of a lot of stuff but uh we're back so that's kind of why we're a week behind on ours yeah as we had some stuff going on and and then i found out that i was anemic yeah well so sucks yeah so i was gonna ask you because we never really talked about that but we did for a little bit but i was gonna ask you like was that emotional for you? Like, was it draining, like emotionally draining to kind of like go back through the chapters and it's always emotionally draining to go back and talk about some of that stuff. Some of the stuff, man, every time, I mean, I've read, I've read the book cover to cover at least five to six times. Mm -hmm. Every time it's something that's something like will strike me with the kids. Something will strike me with losing buddies. Something will strike me with just being a, the douchebag I was something will strike me with how awesome and happy I am right now. Yeah. It's, it's, um, it gets, it's, it's emotionally draining. It's, yeah. it, it took me out. I mean, I was tired every night. I mean, you, you saw it. I was exhausted. Like, yeah. Pretty so much then, every night. like fast forward, your face was white. I was white. Yeah. You guys will see that in the Unaf unafraid podcast episodes. If you, if you watch yeah. um, that one, it was, um, it was actually kind of scary. But I was very, I was, well, I found out I was anemic. So I was super low on iron. Yeah. And to be honest with you, I was probably the day that he came, mm -hmm. I started number two. Well, let's just be, I was pooping up tar. It was like tar. Yeah. It was, which is like the number one sign of like you have blood in your stool. Well, okay, so yeah, that went on for like two days and then it stopped. And then I was just done. I had no energy. Walking up the stairs, I was out of breath. Like I was done. And then went to the doctor and low on iron and getting old sucks. Yeah, well, sucks. so we think that he has an ulcer. Yeah, that's when you know you're getting old. Which we'll figure we'll figure that out. But like, if you too have these symptoms, <laughs> go see may, a doctor. <laughs> go see a doctor, and you may also have um, an ulcer. Yeah, I mean, like your health is extremely important. So well, if you don't I, have yeah. that, you got nothing. Well, it's not every day you wake up and you start pooping out blood. But it didn't look like butt blood. Yeah, blood. It was like just dark. I have to dark. sneeze. I need to sneeze. Well, God bless you. Don't you hate when some you pointed out you got to sneeze? Do you really have to sneeze though? Honestly, you're not going to sneeze now. No, it worked. Yep, just like that. Sneezes are nice. 
But yeah, it wasn't like bloody. It wasn't like blood. It was like purple and I'm not trying to talk about my poop, but like, okay. It, it was, was, it was just bad. not normal. It was, it was gross. It was, it was not normal. normal. We're, we're going to digress. So there um, we go. So your health is your wealth. <laughs> true story. So that's what's happened with us the last week or so. So mm-hmm. we're back at it. And then what else has been going on, babe? Well, that awesome event that we went to last night. Oh yeah. And what was that? Halo for freedom. Zonas. Halo for freedom. We were invited from your friend. Yes. And we went. Yep. That was actually kind of cool. It's It was very cool. Yeah. Like to be able to, I mean, basically what it is, is it's for wounded warriors. It's this organization that came together and, um, what, like they help, like, um, what's, what's the word? Like if they need. Veterans with disabilities. Right. So like, like, like you were mentioning earlier, if they need like a ramp put in their house or mm-hmm. whatever, like they'll, they help with that kind of stuff. And it's just like a good sense of community, like to have all those guys there. I mean, like just being there last night, like mm-hmm. I was super like proud. Yeah. Cause you're just surrounded by people that there's not enough of in the world. Yeah. It, it, it really makes you think, cause we've been to these kind of events a lot mm-hmm. um, with like military veterans and people that are injured or wounded or, or whatever it is. And it just gives you perspective on life of like, like me pooping, pooping out my tar is nothing that some of these some of these studs have to go through like losing yeah. both legs, losing an arm, losing an eyeball. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's freaking crazy. I was like, dude, it, it takes you back. Especially when they do the star spangled banner. Yeah. Uh, it takes mm-hmm. me back to like Louie and uh, Mike and Nate and extortion guys and you know, other buddies. It just takes you back. And then, and I think we, we were, we were, we were talking about that. And I was like, does that ever go away? I wonder if that ever goes away. And that one guy, Oh, my boob just hit the mic. Got up. Did it? Lucky you freaking Mike. Uh, that dude got up. <laughs> that was a, um, a POW at, yeah. at Hanoi Hilton Yep. for six months. And he gets up and he starts talking and he starts just crying. Like, you can just see the emotions start coming out. And I'm like, okay, there's the answer. It's never really goes away because that's been like, what, four decades? Yes. So it's just like stuff like that really hits home. I mean, that's the stuff you just don't forget. Like you see an image or something or a tragic event happens, like maybe a car accident or you lose a loved one. You just don't forget it. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's always there. It's always there. I guess that's why they say like, Hey, guard your eyes, guard your mind. Yeah. You know, whatever that is. That was a really, it was a really, really, really cool event. Like just like the older, I mean, just like the, yeah, like Vietnam guys and like, it's just, it's so, I don't know. Just the sense of pride. I don't. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't. Really, I have no other words for it. It's just really awesome to sit there and like listen to them tell their stories. And um, you know, we were talking about how each of these events that we go to, there's like one common theme. There is one common theme every time. Every time. And what is it? God. It is God. It is God, and it, it, it's kind of crazy. Like. We go to those things and your mind wonders, like, what's their family like? Mm-hmm. What was it like there? And first of all, Vietnam dudes are, in my opinion, like, tough as nails. Like, after being in Iraq and Afghanistan and some other little conflicts, it's a different, war is different. It's evolved with technology, night vision, assets above. Mm-hmm. It's just, it was a different, like, you're kind of more on your own, in my opinion. Yeah. I think we're kind of, like, Pampered in war. I mean, war is war. Don't get me wrong. I'm not taking away from the guys that have fought and have passed and and stuff. It's still war. People are still trying to kill you. Let's not take away that. But it's just it's a different um, it's a different beast. They're both beasts. It's just a different beast. Yeah. But yeah, like there was the you want to tell about the guy that lost his squad members and the guy with the patch on his eye. Lost you, his arm. You tell the story. Let me tell the story. Yeah. So there's this dude, and I and I and I and I'm sorry, I don't remember his name, but he he has a book out, and he was a he was a force recon guy, and uh, he was in Vietnam, and he um, he was telling he was with a squad, which is like 13 guys, and 11 of them passed. They were ambushed. They died. Mm-hmm. Only two survived. He was one of them. He lost an eye, and he also lost his arm. Mm-hmm. And he was telling a story. And it's just like, and then, it, you know, the theme of God comes up and, and, and it's like, man, and then you it click, like everyone's talking about God when they're at their worst, like when nothing ever seems to like, like, it seems like you're, it's imminent doom. 
Yeah. Default by human nature is to please God, don't let me die. Yeah. I've done that. I remember when I was on helicopter rides going in to do an operation or leaving. Um, and I wasn't even, I mean, I believed in God, but I wasn't like a follower of Christ. And my default was like, hey, God, take care of me. Mm -hmm. I, I never had a relationship with God or mm -hmm. Jesus or anything like that or knew near what I know now, like studying it and really giving over my, my heart and life to him. But, but everyone that, like, um, that saw guys uh, that lost their life or almost lost their life, their common theme is like, by the grace of God, I was saved by, by I thank God that it was this. So, so you got to kind of wonder, okay, so is that it's default in man because that's our father, which is what I'm going to go with. Mm -hmm. And then if not, what's the other, what's your other, um, what's, what am I looking for? What, what's the word I'm looking for? Explanation. Explanation. There you go. Like, what is it? Like you, you can't, you can't. You can't deny that. Mm -hmm. And this isn't just one event. This isn't just one group of people. This is many events and people that have gone to the bottom, almost lost their life by whatever it is, had to lose limbs, eyes. And the one common theme is they're grateful for God. Yeah. After mm -hmm. losing stuff, stuff that we use all the day, so uh, all the time. So it's just like, man, it's just really, it just made, made me think. I mean, we had, our, we had a deep conversation on the way back last night. Um, after dinner and it's just it's still like just the, the, those guys talking is still in my brain like big time mm -hmm. like well like, so, like so big. the one i think i think well no there was another guy that talked that he was never able to you know join the military at all well, like yeah. that i think it was like a, a dream of his but he never could for whatever reason that he didn't disclose so i'm assuming maybe like a health thing or yeah, just, medical, just something yeah. medical um and so then he talked about how like he never understood like the 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 battle like he never understood like the fighting for life. your life yeah, you yeah, know yeah. like yeah. and like all of that kind of stuff and then he talks about getting diagnosed with cancer and he's like he never understood it until until that like that's just that's crazy like it's almost like he was like i don't want to i mean i don't know how to explain it but you know like Try. we'll help we'll do it together well, like everything happens for a reason. Like there's mm -hmm. a, there's a master plan. Right. And like, he obviously didn't go into the military for a reason, but he is now like a massive part of this organization yeah, helping that out helps military men and women. Mm -hmm. Like that's, that's huge. Like that was like, I guess, you know, his sole purpose in this whole thing mm -hmm. was to be the helper. Like, you know, maybe not the one who went in and fought, but to be able to now like be kind of, I guess he's kind of coming on the other side of cancer. He's yeah, but he also maybe. has Bell's palsy or something. Yeah, but or? I think that can go away. Oh, can it? Okay. Yeah, I've had that before. It can go away. Um, Bell's palsy. Yeah. What? Yes. You since I've <laughs> known you, you've never mentioned that. Well, because it's like weird. What? What? Well, explain what? I don't. Yeah. This was like years ago. Years ago. What's years? Like, Four. Five. Ten? Um, oh my gosh, I don't even remember. But if Kelsey's watching, she'll be like, oh, I remember. She'd always make fun of me because, like, you know how his mouth was kind of like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what happened to me. Huh. Yeah. It was like a virus that I had or something. And, like, it, it led what, to is that. it Bell's palsy then or is it something else? It was, no, I had, like, I don't remember if I, I had, feel like, like, Bell's stress. palsy is, like, big. Like, well, you can't get rid of it. Yeah, you can. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I don't it's know. just it causes like your your muscles to like like droop or like I don't know how to explain it. It like relaxes your muscles, I guess, uh -huh. in your face. Right. And so I would smile and it would be like crooked. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh at you, but I can't help it thinking about it. He had it pretty, he had it very, yeah, I know. He, his was severe. His I know. was severe. But anyway, so back to what I was saying is what was I saying? That it, that it was just cool that like, it, I don't know. Like his plan didn't work out because God wanted something different. To it, got, it definitely got diverted, but he still did something about it. He didn't stop at his tracks. And what's the one yeah. thing he said? He said something that was so freaking awesome. We actually talked about it today with some other people. That in yes. life, yes, in life, like bad things are going to happen, and so you have two choices: you either deal with it or you don't deal with it. And if you choose to not deal with it. It's going to deal with it's you. It's going to deal with it. That is so, he said that. Was that was very I was good. Like, 
whoa that's yeah. so true it is so true it, it doesn't matter what it is yeah it's so freaking true everyone like a lot of people i think think like oh why is this happening to me it's just what uh, what did i do and it's everyone everyone's yeah. got something going on we, we've we've mentioned this before and we'll we'll mention it again it's so true you either you rise up you man up if you want to say that or woman up and you you tackle the obstacle mm -hmm. or you don't and it's going to tackle you yeah. And that's where we get our little baby victim mentality, in my opinion, is like, oh, we can't do anything about it. Like the whole, the whole can't word. Like you got to rise up mm -hmm. and freaking squash the problem. Yeah. I mean, and see, I could see it in a different light also. I see it too as like, you know, I always look at like health wise, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm going to like live as long as I can. And so I'm like, okay, if you have like a health thing, that is like a big deal and, and you don't approach it and tackle it. And you just keep thinking like, Oh, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. It's mm -hmm. not that big of a deal. In my mind, whenever I heard him say that, it's like, okay, then it's going to take over you. Are you talking about my tarry poop right now? Yes. Well, I'm dealing with it. We are dealing with it. No, it's okay. not like a I'm talking about anybody that like, you know, has like a, like just whatever, right. you know, you, gotta take care of yourself. you have to take care of yourself. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Or, or you're going to find yourself six feet under or cremated, whatever you're. Yeah. I think I go with the cremate route. I don't know if I'm yeah, going to the end of the ground. Me too. I know you're dead, but I'm claustrophobic. Yeah, me too. But then <laughs> cremated, you get thrown in those ovens like, man. Gosh. You're still dead. It, yeah, that's true. Anyways. Yeah. It was, I'll tell you what, man, listen to those guys speak. Uh, it provides some crazy perspective on life. Like they, they are just <clears throat> genuinely happy to be alive and to help out other people. Yeah. It is so freaking cool to see that. And it, it like, it, it kind of like goes down the internal checklist. Like, are you doing this? Are you doing this? You probably should be doing this, mm -hmm. you know, like helping out more people. And, um, it was just, it was just cool to see. It really was. It yeah. was awesome. It was, I'm glad we went. I'm so glad we went. Yeah. Like the POW that was talking about, like, you know, whenever he was captured, Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? No. Yeah, like, can you imagine, like, what did he say for how long? 60 Six, days solitary 60 days. confinement. Like, in, like, you're That'd be insane. Obviously, like, there's no English being spoken, right? Like, well, he said, uh, he said, well, he said the word, he punished, said, but it's, he said it sounded like Spanish. Yeah, like, we're going to learn Spanish. Now you're going to be punished. <laughs> yeah, right. And I mean, and then, Funny like, now. I mean, I teared up whenever he talked about, the day, I mean, he knew the date whenever he was set free. Mm -hmm. He knew the date. He mm -hmm. knew the date whenever he was captured. He knew the date whenever he was like set free. And, and then he choked up and then I choked up. And I'm like, can you imagine? Mm. And so like, he could have died. Yeah. He could have been beaten to death. He could, mm -hmm. I mean, who knows? Which happened. Yeah. 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 And then, and then you like come on the other side of it. And it's like, he was standing there at that podium telling that story he was grateful for his wife, like just all the things. And it's just like, holy crap. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know that I liked his story. His story hit me pretty hard. His story was cool. Like those Vietnam guys, like, like I said, dude, there's just so many, um, they're just tough as nails. They were like, such they badasses. were put in a very bad situation over there. And then they came back and pretty much literally spat in their faces by American people that really had no freaking clue what's going on. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. Like. Yeah, it's like it's a tough generation that was a tough crew that did that and fought like my hats go off and like all the respect that i can possibly give go to those veterans man they're they're studs for all sure those little white-haired guys with their vietnam veteran hats like just they're so freaking cool like they're so freaking cool yeah it's they are so freaking cool yeah they, they just really are man they got like a story and they like they always talk about like oh my wife my family my grandkids God. it's like uh god of course yeah and it's like man like that's and it's like that's where your priority should be it really is and it, and and i'm sure for a lot of guys and it was the same for me uh and, and i'm sure for many people that are watching is it takes some shit for you to open your eyes and mm -hmm. see what the heck's going on mm -hmm. and what you're missing and get your freaking priority straight get your house in order get your house in order that's that's perfect that's good yep that's very true yeah. so yeah well, well, oh, did you want to say something about? Oh yeah, that's our new shirts right there. That's our new shirts. Yeah. I know you're not going to do this. Can you like? Can you do a little show? 
Like show them the crosses from the little shoulder. Let's see. So there's the so have, unafraid. Oh, you can, yeah. you can, you got it. You got it. The front cross. Okay. Quit looking at my wife's boobs, guys. Like seriously. Oh <laughs> shit! Is that oh, on my this side? That? Yep, it's on that side. Uh, it's a warrior cross, and then it's got the heart and mind on the sleeve. Yeah. So those are now available. Yeah. The uh, warrior cross sh cross shirts. And it's then we have a new one, say. new one. Yeah. Right. And we have a new one coming up pretty soon. That's freaking sweet. So yeah. Good okay. job. Thanks for reminding me. I totally forgot that you were, well, I didn't forget you were wearing it, but was the whole purpose of this podcast was so we so could can show off, off the shirt. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you. Welcome. I love you. Love you too. You're still hot. You know that, right? <laughs> I think next time we should talk about getting our house in order and getting your house in order. That's what we should talk about. Okay. Dive a little bit deeper into that. All right. I have a lot I could say on that one. We can do that. Oh, mm -hmm. do you? Mm -hmm. Good. Sweet. So. Want to close this out? Go ahead. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's a wrap, guys and girls. So take it easy. We'll see you next time, guys. Till next time. See ya.